like many of Denis Villeneuve's films, Dune has a very distinct color palette. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick method to match the colors in Dune to any image of your own. Let's get started. Go, go, go! Welcome to Imitative Photography, where I try and reverse engineer famous and not so famous shots. Today we're talking about matching the color scheme of Dune. Now there are some color matching tools in Lightroom and Photoshop, but I find they're kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they only work under very specific situations or they require a lot of additional editing to get the look you really want. I've had a greater success rate using video editing tools like uh, Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. I'll be using DaVinci Resolve for this video because it's free, just like the best things in life. But uh, keep in mind that the same functionality is also built into Adobe Premiere Pro. Once you have Resolve installed, just open it up and click on New Project. Then what you want to do is just drag your images to the media pool. Because we're matching colors, I've chosen pairs of images that are somewhat similar in subject matter and lighting, so you can see how closely they match. Here we have a shot from Dune and a shot from Lawrence of Arabia. Both scenes were filmed in Wadi Rum in Jordan, but you can see that there is a clear difference in the color palette between the two images. So what you want to do is just drag both images onto the timeline and then switch to the color tab in the bottom. Next, I'm going to make sure the image I want to change is selected. In this case, the Lawrence of Arabia image. And then I just right click on my reference to an image and click on shot match to this clip. Just wait a bit and there you go. It's a pretty good match right off the bat, but if you want to tweak it, you can play around with the color wheels and curves down here. These wheels are similar to the ones in Lightroom. Lift is analogous to your shadows wheel, gamma to your midtones, and gain to your highlights. The offset wheel kind of affects all three. Now if you want to export this as an image, just right click on the video in the middle of the screen and click on grab still. Then right click on the newly appeared still and click export. Select an image format from the drop down menu and you are set. So that's the basic method. Now let's have some fun duplicating some more images. Here we've got an image from Star Wars. With just one click, the first order becomes the Dune order. Here are some missiles from Dune. They kind of remind me of the photographs of the Iron Dome defense system. So again, with one click, we can match them up. What about portraits? Here we have Timothy Chalamet in Dune. Let's take a shot of him from his earlier film, The King, and try and match it. There you go. Next up, we've got a young man looking for adventure in a pyramid in Central America. Now he's on Giddy Prime, about to be sacrificed to the Harkonnens. Here we've got Joe Rogan. Well, now it's Joe Harkonnen. I'll stop now because you get the picture. This is a very powerful tool to match the colors of any image, really. Doesn't really matter the movie or the source. Remember, this will only match the colors, so you still have to Keep in mind the lighting and the composition if you really want to complete the look. Colors are one of the trickiest things to get right in the editing process, so this will help significantly when you're trying to imitate another style. That wraps it up for this video. I hope you're doing well, 
And if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing. I'll be putting on more videos and I'll see you on the next one.